all and Happy New Year 2021. My name is Heidi and I am from Finland, Tampere. And this is my crochet blog. This is episode 22. Yes. And uh, welcome aboard. I hope you have uh, had a lovely Christmas time and a Happy New Year celebrations. Uh, the children in, in Finland have been home for two weeks now and they go back to school on Thursday. It, now it's Sunday the 3rd of January and they go to school on a Thursday. I'm going to go to work on tomorrow. And it's been... These two weeks have been full of movies, sleeping, eating, crochet. Couldn't be happier about that. <laughs> and, uh, and it's going to be tough to start their daily, daily life, the normal life, after this Christmas break. But I have been managed to crochet a lot during these past few weeks and I'm so happy and uh, grateful that my hands, that my arms are so much better, that I can do much more than I imagined that I could. So I'm so happy. And I have lots to show you and talk about. So let's get on right away. Mm, first, I have two finished objects. Uh, these are smaller project that I that I did during the Christmas time because I have um, bigger projects now and I, I like to have few smaller between so that I can keep my interest for the bigger ones <laughs> to last. So first uh, I think it was uh, the day before Christmas Eve I started to do this baby Yoda uh, I have been watching this uh, pattern for for long now and in the autumn we started to watch the Mandalorian series from Disney Plus and the baby Yoda is so cute and I thought that now it's I have I just have to make baby Yoda for us too and this is a pattern by uh, Spin a Yarn Crochet she has lovely lovely patterns in her blog if you haven't uh, checked that out please do she has great patterns uh, this was fun quick project and i love it love it so much and i think it's just a uh, nice between project. And I have used drops muscat in this in this work. Really nice, really nice work. And uh, another smaller pro project that I started during the Christmas days was these calendar calendar covers or journal covers. Uh, I got the inspiration for this from Emma from the Lulu Loves Crochet UK podcast or blogger. Uh, she had made, made, made journal covers for herself and posted a blog post about it. And I, because of the beginning of the year and I have a new calendar, I have a several notebooks but i have also a paper calendar which is this and of course every year i have a new one <laughs> it's a ma it's a major decision every autumn to make of next year's calendar what do i like and and because it will be part of my life the whole year so it's a big decision and I chose this one, but I didn't like the covers of the calendar. So when I saw Emma's crochet, crochet version of calendar covers, 
I just knew that I have to have uh, calendar covers for myself too. And I love it. It's a single crochet and there is this, these flips and some flowers. And drops muscat is the yarn that I have here. Really loving this baby blue color and those bright flowers. I think we will have we will make memories together. <laughs> yes. But those were my finished quick objects that I made during the Christmas. And uh, then to the first whip that I have, uh, and it's a traveling Afghan that I have been uh, talking about the whole year or the few episodes this year that I have been doing. But we are on the final stages of that blanket. And I will share you a few square, squares to, today that I haven't shown here before. In the, and if you want to know more about this, I have more information about this blanket in the previous vlogs and I will link all those to the show notes. But uh, there is 24 squares and I have shown you 13 and I will show you 5 or 6 today. Uh, this is square 14, designed by Hooked Hazel. Really nice star pattern. And if you can see, I have been blocking these squares already. So I have done everything, every square now, square now and I started to block them during Christmas. Uh, this is square 15, a cro crocheted simplicity is the designer. Uh, this, was, this, this was done from the corner, uh, from the corner increasing and then decrease, decreasing. So I have been blocking these, I have, um, yeah, blocked these and I just love this blocking uh, process because it makes these squares totally different. It, it's amazing, amazing what the blocking process does to the stitch definition and the whole texture of this, this piece of crochet. Uh, this is a uh, block 16, woods and wool, alpine, al, al, alpine stitch is this. Uh, uh, the challenge in this project has been that the squares don't automatically come uh, at the same size, so I really trusted the blocking process so that I could get the squares match better and I think I have managed pretty well with that. Uh, this is uh, square 17 by TL Yarn Crafts. Nice purple square. And this is 18 Vis Visu Visuvio Crafts. Really nice texture in this piece. Uh, some of the squares are done from, from the middle and to the edges, and some are done uh, from bottom up and I think the one was from the corner to corner. 
and that of course creates some problems of course also and uh, about about the joining process i am about i have started to join the squares and because some of the squares has a very neat outer edges with those that are done from the middle uh, they create naturally these you know a double crochet or single crochet uh, stitches in every corner or every side but if, if the square is done from from bottom to up then there is only the bottom and uh, up uh, with these single or double crochet stitches and it's easy to join the squares when the uh, when the side is even. So I did a little bit work and went through all the squares that are done by bottom up. I went those through with single crochet stitches so that when I am joining them I am able to do invisible join much easier. So that was one uh, stage before I started to block these squares. So here, here was five, five squares and um, I have really loved making those squares but there were a few squares that I didn't in like as a design so much three three squares so I decided to replace those uh, two of those I made double the squares that were easy and fast to do I made those double but one square I am replacing with my own design and this is my own design I I am <laughs> quite happy about it uh, and I think I will name it Roots because it, it looks like Roots <laughs> and uh, yeah but I, I really like it uh, uh, the middle of this design is, uh, is based on the Wheel of Joy pattern that I was talking about last time my ornament design so this the start is similar to that but I then change it a little bit to make a square and I'm really really happy about it and at the moment I am writing a pattern for this uh, yeah but it, it <laughs> It's a lot of work to do a pattern because it's not something that I am used to do. So it takes a lot of time and effort and perhaps I will be needing some tech editors help to read the pattern that my stitch, <laughs> stitches are correctly marked and so on. But yes, hoping to release the pattern for this square in English and in Finnish uh, during this uh, beginning of this year, I hope. But what do you think? I, I think it's, it's quite nice. Yeah, but this will be part of my blanket, traveling Afghan blanket. And as I mentioned, I, I have started to join the squares. Mm, first three rows. So here you can see, this is the first square and the second one. And I have uh, used the invisible seam and I have joined these with pink yarn. And 
really liking this invisible join because you cannot see the join. I will post a link to tutorial about this invisible join. But it's it's easy and really nice joining technique if you don't want to see the join. And I didn't want to see the I didn't want to do a visible join because these squares are pink and gray and I didn't want to have anything. Oh, I did um, I missed of oh, mm. I haven't talked about this square. Oh, I'm sorry. I have mentioned this square before. It was April or May. Uh, I had started it this, but uh, then my arm uh, had this strain strain injury, and I didn't. I wasn't able to finish it. So now it's finished, and I love it. It's the square six, and it's designed by Coco Crochet Lee. Amazing crochet design. I really love this flower pattern. Yes. So, and this is the third third row. And here is my design. And I think it, it fits really nice to this, to the other designs. And hoping to finish this joining um, in the next couple of days so that I can start to do the border. And the border is also one of the patterns in, in this whole blanketing. So I will be doing that uh, hopefully next week, starting to do that next week. and. Uh, I don't know yet in which color I will make it, pink or gray. Let's see. But this has been a fun fun project that that at some point I was sure that I am not going to make it due to my arm issues and that I will will that I will get that that I'm not interested to continue this project but it has been really good project to have when when recovering from the strain injury if i didn't have this i don't know how <laughs> how would i have managed through 2020 yeah but uh this Blanket will be uh, full of memories uh, and it will it will remind me of that year when there was pandemic I had a severe strain injury and lots of things but mm, Although the year was crap, there was some good, like this blanket. <laughs> and I have found gardening and flowers. And I think I am a stronger person, person now due to all sort of things that happened last year. Yeah, okay. But hoping to finish this blanket during January. Yeah. Okay, then uh, to my another whip, which uh, I haven't mentioned before, and this is something that I, that I started, that I was planning to do springtime, and I ordered the yarn and I, and I made one square, then my hand went kaput, so 
And I thought, ah, okay, that will be a project that I will never do. But during Christmas, I was wondering how to, what to do next besides the pl blanket. And then I remembered, oh, I have the yarn and and uh, ready. So I started the project, and it's it's going to be a cardigan, a uh, granny square cardigan called Revi Re Revival Cardigan by Make and Do Crew. Chess, com Chess uh, published this pattern April, mid of April 2020. And I was like, oh, I have to have those. I have to have that. And I ordered the yarn and the yarn is... Mm, I will post a picture of this cardigan here. So you can see <laughs> what I'm talking about. And it's uh, constructed from squares and uh, granny square style stitch. But the yarn that I'm using is uh, a local brand, Finnish brand, Novita, uh, wool cotton. This is my colorway. I have these kind of colors. Uh, this uh, wool cotton is 50 grams, 112 meters, 55 percent percent of merino wool, and 45 percent of cotton. Uh, I am using hook five to do this, and there is. 24 squares to be done and these are my second 12 squares on the way and I will show you what I have already finished this will be the hood of the cardigan and this part that I have finished already will be the back panel. Oh, I love this! I think this will be great spring-summer cardigan. So this will be the back, uh, middle of the back. And the hood will be also constructed similarly as this one. really fun i have really enjoyed making these squares and no what and do you know what i have been learning i have been learning to sew in the ends while i do do the squares and the old me would have done the one square at a time but now I made the all 12 <coughs> centers first, then the second round to everyone, uh, sewing up the ends, and then the third round, and finally the fourth, fourth round. It, it has been a joy to make the squares like that. And when I have been joining, uh, sewing up the ends, it's, it's a, why I, why, why don't I do that every time when I'm making something that I, ha that have multiple colors? Because it's so much easier when the ends are sewn in right away. And, um, uh, and joining the squares was really easy. I will post the tutorial for this uh, joining as you go technique that was part of this pattern. But it was a really easy and fast way. So this uh, blue color 
joined the squares and I have only these ends to sew in. It's a great, great way to join granny squares or these kind of squares together. Really, really fun project. And uh, yeah, I am making the uh, squares for the hood. Then I am starting to make the uh, construction from this, from these to the back and the sides. Yeah, but really, really loving this project because I was so excited about this in the spring and then I couldn't do any crochet and I'm so grateful that I can do it now. I have, I have, I have been loving every stitch. <laughs> and by the way, when I was doing the first, first ones and I had done a third around in all 12, and I noticed that I am missing one stitch from the first round, which of course uh, was showing in every round. So I had to make those uh, all over again. But I didn't mind because I was in love with this in in love with this project, and I was so happy that I can crochet. <laughs> so. But really, did I say, I really love this project. And hoping to finish this before spring. So not in a hurry. Yeah, because I try to enjoy every project that I am doing. And not to hurry too much. Just enjoying the ride. If you know what I mean. Yeah, mm, few more things. Uh, I got a Christmas present, a crochet book, a romantic crochet by Emma from Lulu Loves, Lulu Loves UK. I have been waiting this book for over a year now as from the day that Emma told that she will be doing a book. And now I have it. Uh, it's full of lovely designs. I will show you a few that I could be doing. I think this would be really nice. Really nice addition to my my revival cardigan this summer shirt and uh, this scarf is really nice yes and here is pillows bags oh this is nice pillow this could be great to our summer oasis. Here is better picture. Yes, yes. And this lazy top is really nice too. Really nice patterns and inspiration. I love Emma's style. She has beautiful pictures. Her color way, color way is so lovely. Oh, and this shawl. Oh, beautiful summer shawl. Yes. This would be nice. So lots of inspiration and beautiful pictures. Please visit Emma's uh, Instagram or her podcast full of inspiration and beautiful beautiful pictures and colorways oh this is nice too a blanket yeah uh, 
Uh, then I have two macramés that I want to show you quickly. Uh, as I mentioned, I think, in the last episode, that I was making macramé, uh, Christmas presents, little gifts. Uh, those were these Christmas spells. Uh, there's tutorial in the YouTube from Made in May. These were really nice little macrame projects. And another Christmas macrame I made uh, this Christmas tree. And this was a tutorial by Lots of Knots Canada. And I left really long ends because I had envelopes in, in these ends. And in each envelope there was a little surprise for the children for every morning in Christmas, uh, in, in December. <laughs> but really nice. Planning to use this next Christmas also. Yes, I think that was all for now. Oh, it, 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 it feels so good to be crocheting again with full speed. Of course, some, uh, of course, thinking of not to do too much and be aware of the situation with my hands but but they are so much better I think I shouldn't say this aloud because when you say things aloud something bad bad happens <laughs> but I, I hope that my hands uh, are better now and they stay that way and I'm really conscious about my hands and what I, what I can do and what not but crochet is one thing that I can do now. And it's, it's a good thing. Yeah. Uh, thank you for watching. And uh, if you are returning viewer, thank you so much for joining me again. And uh, if you are a new one, please subscribe. Click the bell button so that you get notified every time that I am uh, pod... Mm, publishing a video and a thumbs up is a really nice thing to do also and please comment if you have anything to comment or ask me about so uh, so hoping to film um, as soon as I have something to show you again okay but I, ho I hope you are well and uh, happy January, Happy New Year 2021. Let's make this a good year. See you next time. Bye bye.